It started as a game, a naughty young boy from Limpopo shooting at his grandmother's handmade clay pots with a catapult. But it's ended in a revolutionary invention. That mischievous youngster is now a highly respected professor with a gift for maths and science. And what he stumbled upon might help change the course of the fight against climate change and cement his place in history. This is where I was born. This is where I have all the memories. I grew up here. It was a fun life, and we used to look after goats and cattle and sheep. Everybody was happy. This is Venda, the birthplace of Professor Muraro Doyoyo, a mechanical engineer and inventor whose most recent discovery may change the world. His roots remain deeply anchored in Venda culture and tradition. As a boy, he learned Chikona, the traditional male dance performed at all important occasions. Chikona dance, Chikombera, all those things, you know. I mean, I've lived in so many big cities in the world, but when I see these, I feel very lucky to have been born here. His brilliant career has taken him to the world's foremost universities, but it all started at Vondre Primary School. I was six years old when I started. We used to walk all the way from uh, the riverside, and um, the river is uh, about uh, three kilometers from here. So I used to uh, come to those classes on top there. I just remember I didn't have shoes like they have. A lot of times you only wear shoes during Christmas time when your father comes back from Johannesburg. <laughs> but it was down at the river where he stumbled upon his grandmother's secret that would later inspire his first major invention. She used to make clay pots like other old women, but in a case, her pots were a lot stronger. So when we were kids, we used to shoot them with like a... <laughs> and then I would always be surprised. Why is my grandmother's uh, uh, clay pots not breaking? Then I found something, a little secret. You see how sticky it is? The frogs, when they do their business, they do it on this. So it's kind of like uh, some organic chemical that they exude in their bodies. And that chemical is basically this. It's one of my ingredients of the cementless concrete, my invention in the USA. It comes from this kind of stuff. After water, cement is the most widely used substance on Earth, but the cement industry accounts for 8% of global carbon dioxide emissions because the raw materials need to be heated to 1,500 degrees. It contributes three times as much to global warming as the airline industry, bearing significant responsibility for the horrors of climate change. Portland cement, it's a... Um made in an environmental and friendly manner by using coal. Now, the challenge for the world is uh, that, you know, they need to limit its use. And like every other of his life's challenges, it's one that he's embraced. In grade 10, he outshone his peers and was sent to Mbiri Secondary, a dedicated maths and science school. Doyoyo's accomplishments are still recorded in the principal's yearbook from 1988. Mm. Doyoyo, mm. Ruben, with an A, aggregate. It was at this school that talent met opportunity. Anglo-American had done an IQ test for us at the University of Venda, so they automatically gave us scholarships. So I chose to go to, to Cape Town. After studying at UCT, he was awarded a PhD from Brown University in the USA. He went on to lecture at one of America's most prestigious colleges, 
Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. At first I was a little nervous that maybe for the first time I'm going to fail the competition. But I did not lose. Uh -huh. I had very good mentors. So at MIT I started working a lot with the car companies. Ultralight consortium on automobile structures to create more fuel efficient cars. This is where he met Roland Gustafsson, a former director of Volvo Technology Corporation. Uh, I was uh, first of all very impressed of his work at MIT and later on at uh, Georgia Tech. Would you classify Professor Doyoyo as an exceptional scientist or engineer? Both. <laughs> I've been doing research for, for so many years, so I, when, I, when I see the excellence, I know it. And his belief is justified because Doyoyo's latest invention, liquid cement, promises to be a game changer. It has zero carbon emissions and uses fly ash, a toxic waste byproduct that comes from burning coal to make electricity. Coal-fired power stations are surrounded by fly ash dumps. When you think of inventions that could potentially change the world that came out of a laboratory, we often have preconceived ideas of what that laboratory should look like. But even the greatest inventions can come from humble beginnings like your townhouse balcony. This is fly ash, this is sand, mm -hmm. and this is stone. So typically when you make concrete, this would be cement. It won't be fly ash. So what I have here is liquid cement. This is the invention. So you can see that it, it looks like water. I don't usually pour a lot. Uh, then I put, uh, you will see I don't need a lot of water. Mm -hmm. And I can see the viscosity is bigger than the water. Yes, it looks kind of like uh, gluey. Yes, yes. This concoction of nine chemicals has the same binding capacity as powder cement, but uses much less water. In this process that you guys are seeing, it absorbs carbon dioxide, which is also another positive thing. Wow. Unlike powder cement, the chemical reaction is endothermic, meaning no heat is released. You saw it's a cold process. Everything is at room temperature. This is about a third of the cost of Portland cement. And even though it's a liquid, it's as strong as Portland cement. We took samples to Sigma Lab, a civil engineering materials testing laboratory in Centurion, run by Frank Grundling. The press will compress till the sample collapse, and we will record the kilonewtons. And from the kilonewtons, we will do a quick calculation and determine what's the MPA. What is that? The strength of the concrete. This particular sample reached 50.6 MPAs before collapsing. That means a high-strength concrete. This is a product that uh, can be used in the construction industry. Not only in concrete. We've done some testing on the soil for soil stabilization in the roads. And we did find that the um, quality of the material did improve. Professor Doyoyo's liquid cement seems to have endless potential, versatile enough for simple applications like garden furniture and filling in potholes, and strong enough for big structures like bridges and water reservoirs. Definitely, it's a game changer because here you can make cement out of fly ash and some chemicals on site. I mean, it's a huge invention. So there are trillions of tons of fly ash all over the world. Now the world is seeking to remove that fly ash from the environment. Now we have a technology that we can export to assist the world. It's an opportunity for the country. Thanks for watching. Why not drop us a comment below? We love reading your opinions. Remember, you can now access Carte Blanche stories anytime, anywhere, even offline. Carte Blanche, the podcast, is now available on all major podcast platforms. So be sure to hit that follow or subscribe button and be part of our growing online family.